And then the uh, the pricing, Paul, are you guys coming up with the, the idea or do you give the host a guideline of what they should be charging depending on the area that they live in and things yeah. like that and the RV itself? Or do they come up with all that on their own? Really, it's up to the host to, to price it whichever way they want. It's their little mini business, whether they rent it once a year or they have a fleet of 100 and they're in thousands of times a year. So in the future, we will be giving some business analytics to people and just kind of put them in the range. Okay. But what most people do is they'll go online and go, okay, I've got a class A, whatever, certain length, and they'll look up similar RVs in their area and they'll just kind of price accordingly. So that's the easiest way. That's very much like Airbnb. Airbnb doesn't really set your prices at all. It doesn't even give you guidance. And so what most people do is kind of try and find rentals that are similar to them and then kind of price accordingly if they don't know what the market it is people who rent basically full-time professionally whether they have a fleet of one or a fleet of 100 know where that price point is but they're free to set that 